So here we have the um, calibration screen for the rig. And at the moment, we're just restricting it to one calibration run because we, there's a, still a little bit of testing that needs to do. But we'll be able to do six runs on here and they'll, they'll all be uh, recorded and uh, you'll be able to see those under your, under your report screen. So to, to use the rig, we, we can uh, divert the flow through the DN80 uh, with one pump. DN25 with one pump, or if we really want to do some high flows, then we've got the DN80 with two pumps. If we click on the DN80, it will open all our valves and start the flow. And we'll see here the flow rate on our two meters. This button here allows us to bring up the recipe page and let's say we've been doing a lot of testing, but um, under here you'll be able to, to to load up multiple recipes. But I'm just using one at the moment. So if I want to change the speed of the motor, and the position of the valve, I just download that, and I can save that recipe for a later date okay I can also look at flow trends so this flow trend is shown on my profibus PA value and the raw frequency from the high-speed counter card and then at the bottom I have a uh, pressure and temperature back I can also look at the total trends to, to make sure those are on track. When I'm happy that I, the air has been pushed out the system, we simply click on the calibration button and that will record the two totalizer values, while well, the three if you include the high speed counter and it will push those into a report. So we'll take a quick look at the TIA portal project um, for the calibration rig. And I can see here, I have two G120 drives, compact field unit, uh, 1511 uh, PLC, and a 15 inch HMI, all linked on, on Profinet. Uh, the code over here has been is built up over time but what we're going to have a look at um, on this particular video is is how well the um, uh, the Profibus PA signal performs uh, with regards to the high speed counter we're not actually testing the the accuracy uh, on this because Profibus PA the the value coming out of the 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 device is actually going to be the, the value on the on the screen so there's no contamination that we're going to have with scaling or we're not having to trim milliamps or anything like that because it's a digital signal so it's going to be accurate uh, what we're going to look at is the speed of response and what you have on um, uh, TIA portal I think it came in at version 14 is this trace functionality so I've already had this uh, this trace built up and if I have a look under my configuration I'm I'm you can you can change how much it will store in the logger you can also have a trigger which is quite nice so if you if you think you've got a fault you could um, you know start recording or in this state case I could start recording as soon as the flow meter uh, registers the flow uh, but it will fill up the way I've got it sampling, but you can have it so it cycle, um, it, it will re-record over itself. So in this instance, I'm taking a um, a sample uh, every time, every 10 cycles of my, my code. And there's not much code, so it's going to be relatively fast, as you'll see in a minute. So you have to add your signals. And for this test, we've got our calibration frequency raw so this is the raw value from the high speed counter the pulses going into this are, are relatively quick 
from the flow meter. The flow meter can output up to 5 kilohertz on, on the frequency. Um, I've got this um, going at uh, one pulse uh, every point or point 0.10 of a litre. Okay, so it's going to be going quite fast. I have then my two profibus values for, for my reference meter and the meter under test and under here you, you can change the colour. Once you're happy with that, you're actually downloading that then to the PLC. Okay, so I'm online now, so what I'm going to do is start that recording. Um, before I do that, here's my HMI screen. I'm going to start my flow. Let's start that recording. The, the scale is auto scaling, so but hopefully you can start to see now the, how the Profibus PA value is performing to the high speed counter. So it is lagging behind a little bit. Let's put some step responses into this to, to get it working a little bit better. So I can see my trends um, and at first glance, depending on how good your eyesight is, everything looks okay. But we're going to zoom in these in, in a minute. Let's just put uh, a couple more in here. And I'm going to stop. So once you've got your trend, you can then export it, the configuration, but you can also export your measurement settings for the current view. So it will export this as a, as a CSV, so you can bring it into an Excel spreadsheet and, and look at it in more detail. But if we zoom in on our, on our step response, we can start to see uh, our values down in here in seconds. I want to focus on one step change for, for Profibus. So if we have a look at the results here, this is in milliseconds. So we are looking at uh, a response time of about 100 milliseconds, which is 10 hertz, which is relatively fast. But in that time, the high speed counter has taken one, two, three, four and a half measurements in in one profibus pa update so it's um it's not 100 percent conclusive the high speed counter we were before we even started this test we knew it was going to be faster than profibus pa but we just wanted to see how well profibus pa stood up and with an update time of 10 hertz it's um relatively fast uh, and will cope with a vast amount of processes uh, uh, so for for this, that concludes the test. It was a very, very short video, but I hope you uh, found that interesting just to show you how quickly Profibus PA updated on a compact field unit. So thanks for listening.